hi guys it's me rachel and i'm back with another video and just like my last video where well hopefully it'll be last but the video where i did glam or no ma'am that was a new series i'm introducing to my channel and i also want to introduce another series which will be Oli Girl Chronicles. Basically, it's just going to talk about favorite primers, favorite setting sprays, favorite powders, and favorite foundation. And it's all for oily girls. I'm an oily girl, extremely oily. I sweat. So I need, you know, some waterproof foundations, some sweatproof foundations, and just all around for my oily girls. So I really wanted to do this video because I feel like it's not enough out there for us. So, um, you know, thumbs up if you like the idea, if you have any suggestions for me, if, um... Anything else besides the foundations, a powder, setting sprays, and primers that you want me to discuss, um, feel free to email me, leave them down below, any of my social media, hey, just let me, let the girl know, what's up? But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. This one is going to be powders. Um, I wanted to start off with... I feel like this and excuse me if I'm a little you know puzzled well not really puzzled but just trying to you know make sure what I'm saying is coming off correctly because I know what I want to say but my mind moves a mile per minute I mean I'm gone I'm thinking about so many different things so I'm just trying to get my thoughts together so I don't know what order I'm gonna do these in, how I'm gonna have them structured, but of course we want to start off with a primer. I always wanna have a bomb powder. Then you go in with the foundation, your concealer, and then um, different powders for contour to set, and your face powder. So in this video, I'm more so going to talk about, you know, face powders. All these are gonna be the complexion of my skin, and then I might have some that are different shades that you can use for contour or highlight so let's go ahead first one is going to be the makeup forever duo matte powder now this is in the shade 214 this shade is always sold out in my sephora whatever reason it might look like but we heavy though <laughs> um no it may not look like my skin tone but it does um in person i mean it it is it goes on good it really mattifies the skin and that's what i like about it i wanted something that really is matte i don't want anything that is not so it really does um it's just bomb to me i love this just like i love the makeup forever foundation i'm going to talk about this one is really really good um but they do have a i'm going to discuss a cheaper alternative though next is going to be the becca and it's the perfect skin mineral powder foundation now what i liked about this and again y'all like girl that's not your shade for whatever reason these undertones they're neutral they're olive she has a lot of different undertones but this is my shade this is shade amber and i will be um be sure to put below all the different um colors that i am in these the foundations and the colors so amber that's my shade in this. I really, really like it. It gives a flawless look. So the reason why I even picked this out was the girl in Ulta. Her makeup just looks so freaking good. Like airbrush. And I was just like, what do you have on? She's like the Becca uh, matte powder. Now, this doesn't necessarily say that it's matte. But it works on my skin tone. I was wearing this for a really, really long time. Um, before I found some other things. But the Becca uh, Perfect Skin Mineral Powder. I think it's good because it is mineral. So it's going to be good for those girls that are oily but have sensitive skin. Um, and I really like this. It just gives you a flawless airbrush look like not only does you know it's a good face powder and of course blends everything together but this right here for whatever reason it just makes your skin look so flawless i don't know what it is in here but 
it'll have you looking right okay girl and it also is good for oily girls next this is the oldie but goodie the cover girl queen collection now i haven't opened this in a while so i don't know what it looks like oh it's looking good i thought i hit pan because for years this was the powder that i was using and i would hit pan on it so i'm in color q410 in golden so this is a lasting matte powder and it's so true this lasts for a really long time it mattifies the skin as well it kind of it doesn't say that it's oil control but to me it helps with oil control if you're not one of those that you know keep tissue on you to matte like i mean to blot like i don't blot so i like this powder when i was using it i might need to pull it back out because i didn't have to blot it kind of controlled the oil which was crazy to me but it did Now, baby, this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte, 16 hour, matte finish, air fine texture, oil free, and I'm in color um, 700 Classic Tan. Yeah. This is one of my favorite powders. Now, I have another, I have this one over there on my vanity. I didn't want to show it because it done hit pan. I mean, I only have about a corner <laughs> of it left. That's how much I love this powder. Like, the foundation is bomb, but this powder is bomb too. And this is the drugstore. This is, it's a little pricey. I think it's about $12 or something like that. But it's, it's worth every penny of it. This acts like, it's worth a hundred dollars i mean it's really high end really really high end and it says that it's um lasting matte powder never cakey never flat and shine control it really does i do when you use that l'oreal foundation with this l'oreal powder it's like bulletproof sweat proof oil proof i mean i did not break any type of sweat any type of oil came through shine came through i mean this powder and that foundation together are awesome but even this on its own you know if you just want to do concealer and a powder this is an everyday powder to me just because it's just gonna keep you matte in my opinion in the instances that i have used it and that's the disclaimer that i want to say you know these powders have worked tremendously well for me and that's why i'm recommending them to girls that have combination to oily to extremely oily skin but you have to figure out what works for you and that's why i said it in the beginning i use a good ass primer a good ass foundation a good ass um powder a good ass setting spray like i use certain products that i just really don't stray away from because they're tried and true and they just work when i incorporate you know something new into it i see hey how does this act with this how does and that's what you want to do you want to come up with your own kind of system that works for your skin and in this hot ass weather outside <laughs> Next, next, next are the Black Radiance Pressed Powders, All Free Formula, Matte Finish. These are bomb. If you cannot afford nothing else in here, these are about three, four dollars. They sometimes have a one dollar off coupon, and they are bomb as hell. Um, I didn't want to show you the dark one that I have because, like I said, y'all, when I love something, I love it till it's broke down and you can't get no more out of it. Seriously. So it is hit pan. It's just it's ratchet over there um i'm trying to scrape up some more powder but these are really 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 good y'all really good i mean i've been using these ever since i got into makeup and i still will continue to use them they came out with new shades and that's why i have the new ones up here i didn't want to show the old ones that i've just been scraping <laughs> but this is in color honey caramel right here and golden cashews these are some different colors i really like them um you could definitely use this one to set your under eye and i think that this will maybe be my skin tone so that's why i just got these new uh powders because they're really good i mean black radiance and black opal really affordable and really good for women of color i think they are slept on so much and i don't understand why like these products are good they're not 
garbage you get what i'm saying just because they're in the drugstore they're still good just because they're affordable they're still good y'all don't sleep on these good ass products last but not least is the black opal honey deluxe finishing powder diminishes sign natural matte finish this already said everything that i i had to say definitely oil control it's not gonna let any shine come through y'all i've been up doing so much today in this face y'all see still got the same face had to change the shirt because i do plan on doing a lot of videos today and y'all no shine is creeping through only the shine that i added you understand me um this you could have a full day i mean let's just say a 8 12 16 hour day and your skin is still gonna be bomb as hell it's not that flat matte you know it's not that um just no type of dimension on the face that makes you just look you know if that kind of the best way i can describe it is that flat matte this honey this is a natural matte. This is a, you know, for girls that are almost, I want to say dry, but for girls that don't have oil problems, this is what that finish looks like to me. And that's why I love it so much because it's a natural looking matte finish. It is in this, uh, you know, powder form. So it's not compact. But it's just so good. Like, I love it. I thought that it would be too light for me, but it's not. I just, y'all, I cannot really say too much besides I love this. Like, I love all of them because they just do what I need them to do. They have me mad, and that's all I want a powder to do. Have me mad. If it can help with controlling some oil, hey, I love it. But have me mad that's what i need and as far as just like with a foundation my base needs to be matte i'm one that i need matte 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 all the way through i don't need any type of dewy any type of luminous shiny glowy not that girl not that chick i don't want it so all these products i would recommend like i stated to girls who have combination oily or extremely oily out of all these products I mentioned, one should work for you, I promise. This is going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please, 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 please leave them down below. Write, subscribe, comment, and I will definitely talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.